Hi guys and welcome to another video which is going to be titled submission number one. Uh, that's because we've got three submission deadlines this month. We had one last Friday, we've got one the Friday before that, and then of course we've got one on the last Friday of the month, May, so the 29th. So if, I mean if you haven't submitted yet, uh, you can get it in on time. You can actually get it in for the 15th. Um, if you're from the UK and special delivery or you've got express delivery in Europe. Um, so a lot of cards going out. You guys surpassed uh, myself and myself, uh, mine and Tom's expectations with the amount of cards. So we just want to say a massive thank you for that. Gotcha! As you might have noticed, this package is probably a bit too big for a submission. Although I have seen a few just a tiny bit smaller. Um, so this is addressed to Connor Smells Davis. Uh, this is from Marcus. He's someone who thinks he has a lot of banter with us, uh, myself and Tom. Uh, and this is a gift, not a gift, but I mean, this is something for us to put in our display. And it is from At Hammer Pokemon. Um, and let's go in and see what this is. So, basically, the task I gave to Marcus was I, I didn't want to do the design. I was going to be really, really lazy. And basically, he's done this himself. So, if I'm disappointed with it, then as he knows, then he'll be straight back into the post. I'm a joke. Straight back in the post. Anyway, let's have a look what we got. Oh, wow. Hello, Mr. Groudon. That looks very cool, to be fair. He's got his claws in attack mode running at me. Uh, but, yeah, really cool piece of art. Uh, that is from Hammer Pokemon. If you have got your favourite sort of Pokemon, um, and he does it in like smaller and bigger sizes. Um, so yeah, that is Groudon. That's the back of Groudon. Um, but yeah, go and check it out. Hope you guys didn't mind me taking about 10 minutes because I don't know whether Tom's going to edit or not edit out. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Marcus. Beautiful. We are going to start off with Nathan. And Nathan is going to start off with a very beautiful Espeon. Apologies for the haircut and the beard. And also me looking up every now and again. I just want to check that the cards are in shot because they are beautiful. Nathan, thank you very much for always choosing Graded Gem. We do massively appreciate it. Uh, Espeon EX. A beautiful card from EX Unseen Forces. We then have the Celebi twirling around from EX Unseen Unseen Forces, Umbreon EX, and then an Umbreon First Edition from Neo Discovery. I love the card art with the moon. Thank you very much, Nathan. Up next, we have Adam. There we go. We thought we'd just zoom in a little bit. Uh, we've got a beautiful Charizard Japanese here uh, from, obviously, the original base set. We then have the Ho-Ho from Neo 3. We then got another one of these. Adam is AW Trades on Instagram. So, guys, please go and look at it. Please go and check it out. And please go and give his post some love. We have two Blaine's Moltres, Blaine's Charizard, Alugia from Neo 1, Giovanni's Persian, uh, Dark Paragon 2, I like how the like, is a big number 2, because obviously numbers are numbers, it doesn't matter what language it is, Dark Alakazam, Starmie, I mean the best hollows for me from the Japanese Watsu sets are the ones we didn't get in English, um, and Starmie is one of those, and the Beedrill from Neo 2 as well, Haunter from Fossil, Sabrina's Gengar from Jim, of course, um, but the difference with this one is that it does have the graveyard in the background, which I think is so much cooler. We then got the Mischievous from Neo3. That is Adam, AW Trades on Instagram. Next up is Taran Deep or Tazgill on Instagram. So again, another Pokemon Instagram for you guys to go and check out. We have this Lugia. I love this Lugia. I've got to say, I think it's probably one of the best artworks of Lugia out there. It's one of the few, actually, with him using his attacking move. Uh, so really cool. Uh, then we have the Sabrina's Misty's Magic Art, of course, from Jim. Oh no, Lieutenant Surge's Chalteon, Koga's Ditto, Entei from Neo Three, Blaine's Nine Tails, a great card. The Aerodactyl from Neo Three, again one of the Japanese hollows we just did not get in English. The Misty's Psyduck, um, beautiful be Gold Duck. What is going on? It's a bit early here, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I've only had one coffee. So I do apologise if I'm not as on the ball as usual. <laughs> Lieutenant Surge is right here. And Blaine's Kangaskhan. Thank you very much, Taran Deep. Taz Gill on Instagram.
a frequent submitter with the service now, and that is Andrew. That is Ricky Thunder Pokemon cards. Hopefully, hopefully, we've got his new logo down there, which is absolutely wicked, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, go and check out his Instagram. It's probably better than mine. Uh, we have Guzma. We then have the beautiful Pikachu. Absolutely love this one. Uh, transparent tops, as you can see. You can go straight through the card. Really cool. Uh, we've got the Mew 2 vending, the Mew vending. Odd background, this one for me. Why is he surrounded by Willy Wonka's Charlie's bubbles? Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu dashing in front of you. Blazicon EX. We did see a trend, actually, of more EX series cards um, this month in this month's submission. We think that's just because of the craziness of first edition Watsy at the moment. I think if anyone has got first edition Watsy, they've certainly been sending them in. And then look at this beauty. I oh, will stop talking. We have the Typhlosion number 17. It's actually very clean. Honestly, probably I'd like to get a 10, but I think Andrew no to that. But I mean, a 9 would be solid. Absolutely solid. Sabrina's Gengar first edition from Jim Heroes. Another beautiful card for Ralligator and for us. Andrew really, really stepping up his game. A couple of Blastoises from base. And a Mega Charizard EX Evolutions. Thank you very much. Ricky from the Pokemon cards on Instagram. Scott is up next. And Scott is a man after my own heart. He's sending in some primes. Um, I did um, actually sell you a prime, didn't I? I think it was your Sering PSA 10. Uh, so I don't know if you're going after the PSA 10 set. It's a difficult one. Um, because they, they, they're not easy to grade, I'll be honest. Uh, I graded loads. I bought loads. And I didn't actually get that many 10s myself. I actually had to purchase a lot of the 10s, which was a pain. Um, apart from the Your String, I got a duplicate on. I got two 10s. And obviously now you have one of them. Uh, really good looking Steelix, actually. Most likely a 9, but uh, you never know. They might push it to a 10. These lovely Sword and Shield promos. Galarian wheezing now. Absolutely love this. I love the fog, like, moustache and beard. I think it's stunning. Then I have a Pikachu promo, of course, with Bulbasaur and Piplup in the background. Then I've got Dark Dugtrio Unlimited and Dark Dragonite Unlimited as well. Thank you, Scott. That is Chilled Blastoise on Instagram. Another Andrew up next now, and they are going to start off with these Rayquaza ponchos. 230 XYP, and uh, naturally 231 after it. Uh, we then have this very, very angry Pikachu. The Mega Charizards now. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Done really well to actually keep these, like Mint. Very, very difficult cards to acquire at the moment. The Turtwig play promo, uh, big question mark in the bottom corner. We then have the Dark Ray. The Palkia, probably one of the better artworks. The Dialga. Manaphy, looking very, very cute. Uh, the Piplup. And the Chimchar. Um, so thank you very much, Andrew. I think this is your first time sending with us. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Next up, we have Jan, a new sender. That is Mr. Mime Zard on Instagram. Go check it out. It's a new Instagram for us all to go and enjoy. We have the Sylveon GX, of course, Hidden Fates. I mean... We both knew that there was going to be loads and loads of Hidden Fates and Sword and Shield promos, to be fair. Look at that. Not promo. Zaki and V. Gold sparkles. Yeah, these are definitely growing on me. The Charizard from Evolutions. Pretty nice, actually. Uh, and, of course, we've got the Ultra Shiny Charizard GX. Ultra Shiny Alone Ninetales. And then the Alone Ninetales itself. The Moltres Zapdos and Articuno GX. Very popular cards, those legendary birds from Hidden Fates in all the art formats. Mewtwo EX, Jarizard GX, Tapu Coco GX. I haven't seen one of those gold rares from Hidden Fates for a while. I haven't seen this SM60 for a while as well. I remember when this box came out, we literally got flooded with these. Jarizard and Brexen GX. Uh, a couple of those, full arts. Then we've got the Ancient Mew, beautiful card. Rayquaza GX and Espeon GX. X. Uh, so thank you very much, Jan. Mr. Mime Zard on Instagram. Jack is up next. And Jack, again, more hidden fates to see. We've got the Scizor GX. The Greninja GX. Probably one of the best arts, to be fair, from Shiny Vault. The Alolan Ninetales. The Articuno. Espeon GX. I do wonder how far into 2020 we're going to go without seeing a hidden fate in a submission. Uh, maybe 2021. Primal Kyogre. Yeah, he's all right. But the Primal Groudon EX. That's what we like to see. You're always going to get some brownie points from me when you send in a Groudon. Really nice one, to be fair. One of the best Groudons. Shrine of Punishment. 
Sabrina's Gengar, of course, without the graveyards. I mean, it would have been so much better if they had done that. The Charizard from Evolutions. Again, a very, very clean copy. So congratulations on acquiring that. Mewtwo using Psybeam. Koga's Ditto. Koga's Beedrill. Giovanni's Persian. Giovanni's Gyarados. Brock's Ninetales. I think it's interesting that we've seen a lot more Unlimited Watsy this month. Obviously, it's because of the craziness of prices in first edition. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they go. Blaine's Arcanine to end your submission. Thank you very much, Jack. Next up is George, and George is going to start off with a Gyarados uh, with a lovely pre-release stamp, actually. I forgot how good these look uh, with the Evolution stamp. Lovely. We then have the Charizard of Brexen, SM230, uh, Charizard from CP6, Crawdon from EX Dragon. Uh, this card has got a special place in my heart because I remember that even when I like when I was younger and I stopped with Pokemon for a bit, I still had this Crawdon at the top of my box of Pokemon cards. Charmeleon from EX Dragon, a Pikachu winking with a Pokeball next to it. A couple of those, it would seem. Then I have this Stained Glass promo. It'd be really cool to see a few more of these stained glass promos, maybe with Arcus Diago and Palkia. Um, I know they did like in Cosmic Eclipse in different ways, but I gotta say, the stained glass promos really stick out. Typhlosion from Neo, Mist his Tears, of course, very popular card. Slowking, Houndoom, Dark Raichu in attack mode, Koga's Ditto, a lot of um, Watsy Japanese cards as well, to be fair. Erica's Vile Plume, and the Wobbuffet. Thank you very much, George. We are now going to have some sports cards from Charlie, and that is charlieroads.1 on Instagram. So if you're into sports cards, that's your jam, then go and check out that Instagram. Uh, Ray Allen, we're going to start off with. Um, so we have a few of these. This is from uh, another Ray Allen rookie stadium card. Then we have the hockey cards. Obviously, guys, I'm not going to know that much about hockey. I do apologise. I can appreciate the cards, though. They look really, really nice. Uh, Jack Hughes. I always like seeing the different designs from different TCGs, or in this case, the sports. So this is Upper Deck. We then have Scott Mayfield. He looks a bit perplexed there, doesn't he? And Anthony Bouvelia looks very, very concentrated. And Matthew looks like he's just hit someone in the head with a puck. Um, and then we have Otto. Looking very confused. I mean, they get some mug shots on these cards, don't they? And Noah as well. Charlie, thank you very much for sending in your sports card submission. Now moving on to Luke. That is Luke McRae, 2191 on Instagram. We have the Charizard EX Power Keepers. One of the favourites of actually a Charizard collector with Charizard staring up into the moon. We then have Birthday Pikachu. Really, really popular card as usual. And then, of course, the Lugia from Neo Genesis. Thank you very much, Luke. Oliver is up next with three cards. And he's going to start off with this lovely Charizard and Brex and Hyper Rare. The Ancient Mew. Uh, so, obviously, this is the new one from the Japanese movie that came out, Mewtwo Strikes Back. And then we have the Armored Mewtwo, Japanese. Really difficult to get a 10 on this guy just because they put the co uh, the coin on top of the card in the packaging. Bit odd place, really, to put it. Does make it very difficult to get to PSA 10, which means if you do get it, Oliver, it'll be a lot more desirable. Up next is Alex. Myself and Alex talk a lot, almost on a daily basis at the moment. Um, he's raiding my eBay store whenever he can. Uh, and he's also sent in a pretty hot submission. This is Alex Collection Pokemon on Instagram. Really, actually, definitely worth a follow. We got the Raikou First Edition, Entei First Edition, Shining Lugia, Lucario, of course, from Shiny Vault. These, these things are just never going to stop. The Shining Arceus. Blaine's Moltres first edition raw. Just to have this card in raw, so so difficult. Lugia first edition Neo Gen. Charizard base set. Charizard base set. Charizard base set. Didn't need to say that three times. Could have gone triple threat. We then have the power of Pretora, Vegito, Kafla, and Zamasu. Do not know that much about Dragon Ball Super. Do apologise. But then we do have Hit. Pride of Universe 6 with a lovely little signature as well. Thank you very much, Alex. That's at Alex Collection Pokemon on Instagram. Jim is up next. Jim has been sending a lot of cards of us since uh, last year, actually, the late end of last year, because he has a hot collection, and that includes this Charizard Reverse from Evolutions. Charizard uh, Hollow. We always see a Charizard Hollow from Evolutions, don't we, here? Uh, we then have this amazing Nintendo promo there from Jim. Lovely, lovely card. 
Aerodactyl pre-release first edition. Your dark Charizard looking very menacing. Lieutenant Surge from Gym Heroes. I think with the price increases as they have been, it's made it a lot more like viable to send unlimited cards. Maybe those Japanese uh, cards, which maybe just sold for twenty pound in the past, now sell for forty. It just makes grading a lot more viable for a lot more cards. Mew Fossil, and if you do have any of those first edition Watsy hanging around, what you're doing, get in contact, get them in. Mew Black Star Promos, very very popular card at the moment. We actually have five of those. Uh, which is crazy. And I'll tell you what, they look pretty mint, guys. They look, well, we have more than five. I lied to everyone. We have considerably more. And yeah, they, they look minty, guys. Um, so yeah, wow, Jim. Congratulations on having that Huel Hall. Uh, Huel. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Cool, Paragon. A couple of those. Triple to those. Uh, Snorlax CD promo, probably one of the best Snorlax artworks. Few of those, a triple of those. Wow, I didn't realise there was so little variation in your submission there, Jim. But yeah, really cool cards and some really high value ones as well. Myself and Lee are always chatting away about Pokemon cards. And that's because, again, we've got some very, very high value stuff here. We've got the Entei Gold Star. And then we've got Lugia from EX Unseen Forces. I think we actually have, yeah... I'm not going to bore you with those guys because we've actually got a good number of those. Uh, great artwork. Very, very popular card at the moment. Ho-Oh, EX Unseen Forces, the Houndoom, a couple of those. This is what I mean. If you just had these cards locked up in a plastic box somewhere, now they've become very viable for grading and they're definitely worth sending in. I actually really like this Eurus Ring. It's like, I don't know whether he's going to hug me or take me apart. Uh, very nice. Mansatric, looking up at the moon again. Flareon. So these are reverses now. We then have the Marowak, which is the hollow. Uh, Mashamp from EX Power Keepers. Really cool card, to be fair. Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. Down to Watsy now. Brock's Rhydon. Erica's Vileplume. We have E1 cards. We've got the Blastoise, the Amphros. Supporter Legend 023 LP promo. Sylveon GX. I do love the full art of Sylveon. Literally, really bright pink gets in your face from Guardians Rising. Lanana GX, the gold rare. And of course, more hidden fates. Why wouldn't we see it? Froki, Altaria, Guzzlord. I actually think these cards are going to become more popular uh, as time goes on against like the normal shiny vault. I just think they've got a great variation in the artworks. Poipole, Shining Mew, a couple of those. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. The Hyper, the Full Art. Three Full Arts. Did really well there because actually that's the variation we got the least of when we did pull. Uh, out Hidden Fates, Rayquaza GX, Ho-Ho, Giovanni's Exile, a couple of those. It looks very, very menacing there. Raichu GX, Full Art, Zorart GX, Salamance GX, Moltres EX. I actually really like that, how he's like popping out the car. Really cool. Eevee Munch promos now, uh, and Rowlet as well. Cider, it's crazy what happened to these. Um, so obviously everyone knew they were going to be popular cards because like they're quite hard to get hold of anyway. But like they were like 10, 20 pounds. I think for the set you could have gotten for 120. Um, now, well, now you, you could have like five times your money in about a year. Um, which I think it's it's always difficult with exclusive Japanese promos. You never know which ones are going to pop. Like obviously the Mario ones did. If they ever did a, did a Zelda one, I think they literally sell out like that. Uh, Gardevoir and Sylveon GX, Mega Blastoise EX. But then there are others that really just don't pop. We then have the Charizard GX to end it all from Burning Shadows. Thank you very much, Lee, for trusting us with your submission. James is up next. James, we have been uh, doing emails between each of us. It's really been good chatting to you. And you are going to start off with this epic submission with Mashamp First Edition. We then have the Venusaur from Base, Hitmonchan. From... I really don't think you can lose with Base now. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't. I actually see the Base Set Unlimited going up. PSA 10s quite a bit. I think they're undervalued at the moment in comparison to the rest of the sets. Like, if you think all the rest of the sets are overvalued, then you might think base is on point, but I don't know. Jumpluff, Neogenesis, Venomoth from Jungle, Vaporeon from Jungle, Kingler, uh, Fossil 1st Edition, EV Team Rocket 1st Edition, Sandslash, Slowpoke, Psyduck. I really like this Psyduck, to be fair. Um, you know, in the Detective Big of Two movie, where it, like his head's going to explode, it definitely, artistically, um, it's there. Pikachu, Yellow Cheeks, Gyarados now from base. Dark Charizard, of course, can't lose with Charizards. Charmander, Meowth looking very, very happy from Team Rocket. Mashop, 
and Tyranitar from Neo 2. James, thank you very much for your submission. Umar is up next. Myself and Umar have been talking a lot on the phone. We really do appreciate that you've trusted us with this amazing submission. Bit of background on these. Uh, these have just been in his collection. Uh, I thought he might have bought them like mint from somewhere, but no, he's just kept hold of these and they obviously have done very well for him. Um, so let's see how we do. Got some stunning cards in here, to be fair. Rayquaza EX, Rocket Zapdos EX, Rocket Snorlax EX, Gengar EX. Um, if this one does get a PSA 10, I will negotiate with you. Um, you can have your submission back, but I get to keep this card. Yeah, uh, Charizard EX. I am looking for that one still, guys. If you have got it, or if you know anyone who's got it, even if they're selling for an absurd price, can you please tag me on Instagram? Because I desperately, desperately want it. Electrode First Edition, Mr. Mime. Uh, we have quite a lot of First Editions now. So on our pre-grades, these have done quite well, these First Edition ones. The Bell Sprout, the Energy Search, the Pokeball, Venonat, Oddish. Don't really like the Oddish, I mean, to be honest, but, you know, it's just one of those. Rhyhorn, Enkun's flying out at you. Gambler, definitely not a card they do today, is it? Grimer. Psyduck looking very confused. Cubone looking out for his mother. Eevee, Ry uh, Rockets Raikou EX. This always used to get people, um, because obviously it's not from Team Rockets Returns. It's from EX uh, Deoxys. Um, I hope I've got that right. Uh, two of those. <laughs> otherwise, you guys are going to have me. Venusaur EX. Mr. Mime EX. Two of them there. Groudon EX. There you go. Um, exactly what I want to see. If you do send in Groudon to the service, guys, your card will get an extra 10 seconds of screen time because I always make sure to do it. Deoxys EX. Deoxys EX. Deoxys EX. Some crazy, crazy uh, EXs here. And you know what? They're pretty mint as well. The Rockets Mewtwo EX. And then, wow. That had to be the last card from this stack, didn't it? That is the Latias a Gold Star flying out at us. Stunning card, mate. Uh, absolutely wicked. Um, then move on to the Dark Sloking. Electrode EX. Rocket Scizor EX. Steelix EX from Unseen Forces now. Feraligator. Clefable EX. Blastoise EX. This is the other card I need, guys. The other one I need. If you see it anywhere, or if you've got one, please sell to me. I will buy it. Blastoise EX. Yamma from EX Unseen Forces. Gollum. Butterfree. Muck from Fossil, Lapras from Fossil, Seedra from Fossil, the Darkness Energy from EX, Emerald, another Rayquaza EX, Dark Hypno, Hypno from Fossil, Dodrio, looking very, very angry. Well, angry, and then just one head who looks incredibly sad. I'm going to tell you, I can't say that word, you're just going to have to go over it. Jigglypuff, Mr. Fuji, Chansey, looking very derpy, but that's fine. Slowbro, Nido Queen now. Venonat, first edition from Jungle. Charmander from EX Fire Red Leaf Green. Exploid. Wow. I mean, does he need that many moves? Does he need four moves on one Pokemon card? Who knows? Typhlosion. Sandslash. Your swing. Again, we've got the Teddy. Or are you going to kill me? Kangaskhan. Recycle. I really, it's a bit sad, this one, isn't it? Jigglypuff being recycled. But, I mean, Slowpoke. Tentacool. And Horsey. And last but not least. We have the side up. Umar, thank you very much. Stunning submission. Moving on to Jamie now. That is Nerds Nation on Instagram. I really like that Instagram handle, actually. Uh, Nerds is N-E-R-D-Z, uh, just like the sweets. We then have Gyarados EX, Shining Mew from Shining Legends, Chansey from Base, Victory Bell First Edition, Lugia from Neo One, Typhlosion. This guy, that's going to be, if that comes back a gem, that'd be very good. Feraligator. Rockets Mewtwo with the squeezed artwork. Erica's Venusaur. This is really nice. This is the Suicune from Pop Series 2. I've got a bit of a love for Suicune, uh, to be fair. Uh, Pop Series 2 Hollow. Nice card. Steelix. They Vaporeon from Jungle. Dark Espeon from Neo 4. Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket. Butterfree E1. Clefairy or Clefable. Uh, Sabrina's Gengar. What is going on with me? Then we have this really nice... Verse pack Deoxys. Absolutely love that. Uh, Lenticulia. Obviously, I'm going after the advanced action cards at the moment. Um, and obviously, they're all Lenticulia. Pikachu DP16. Not one we've seen in a while, to be fair. Uh, Pikachu from Pop Series 6. Charizard EX. Dark Charizard from Team Rocket. Venusaur E1. Jamie then has this Pikachu from EX Legend Maker Delta Species. You know I'm a big fan of that. 
Charizard from Evolutions, the Hollow, then the Reverse, then the Japanese, and then the Blaine's Charizard himself from Jim. Thank you very much, Jamie. Nerds Nation on Instagram. We now have another Scott, and this Scott is sending in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, so we've got Time Wizard, really, really cool card to be fair. Spell Canceller, Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes B Dragon, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Black Luster Soldier. We then have Slifer the Sky Dragon, Dark Magician, Dark Magician again, Dark Magician again, Triple quadruple dark magician i can't i don't know what the five is blue eyes white dragon of course i mean if you send in Yu Gi Oh, it's going to be some sort of dragon blue eyes chaos max really nice promos actually these to be fair uh these are the movie promos and then we have blue eyes alternative white dragon and then the crystal dragon as well which actually has a really really nice artwork thank you very much scott Robbie Lee, FYI, on Instagram now. Starts off with this grass energy from Japanese base. The fire, the water, the lightning, and the psychic, and the fighting. And, no, that's it. We then have the fire energy from SM12A. Really nice, as is the water. Lightning, are you going for some sort of uh, display here, Robbie? We then have Hermione Granger with her Wizards newspaper there from Harry Potter. We then have this really cool patch card, to be fair. That looks immense. Uh, so that's like woven into the card uh, with Clara Oswald as well. We then have more Clara Oswald, the companion card, and the last one as well. It's like it's one of those Topps football cards. But yeah, massive Doctor Who fan, Robbie Lee, FYI on Instagram. Go and give it a follow. Daniel is up next, and Daniel is going to start off with this Vileplume GX. A really good one, actually, because Erica's in the background. And then, boom, we're going to see a lot of these in 2020. We have that Charizard V Max. Can't wait for the new set to come out involving this big guy. I think the Pokemon community might just go a bit crazy for it, COVID or not, to be fair. Uh, Charizard V Max is going to be the king of 2020. Uh, I'm going to have the Venusaur and Celebi. Charizard from SM9, Wishy Washy, which looks really cool actually, Cosmic Eclipse, um, then we have Torkoal, can't remember this guy, but they're both sitting on top of a hill, really aggressive Lugia GX there, I mean, you just run, if you ever saw that, Lusamine, Pikachu running Zekrom, um, can't remember this guy's name, but Latios and Latios, I certainly can, oh, that's a really nice artwork, isn't it, uh, Lilana and Solgaleo there, um, I really do like the effect on these foils, like, the, the Pokemon's really pushed to the front. Really nice. So, I've ran a GX. Some more of them Hypers. Very loving trainer there. Uh, Whale Lord eating Magikarp for some reason. Um, not very nice. Jarizard V as well. Obviously, these cards we will see in English, guys. So, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of excitement for these when they hit our shores. Thank you very much, Daniel. Danny is up next. And Danny's just got the one card. But what a card it is. It is that Michael Jordan and look at that cutout with that flame. Uh, I think it's because Michael Jordan is fire, quite literally. One out of 20. Got the gold writing on the back. Really, really cool card. Um, yeah, even I know uh, Michael Jordan. So thank you very much, Danny. Matthew is up next. And Matthew's going to start off with a stained glass legendary bird promo. I've said I love this card. And that's because I do. All of mine sold out as well. I was a bit disappointed. I might have to pick up a PSA 10 for the personal collection. Charizard from Team Up pre-release oh him again charizard gx from hidden fate sv 49 i haven't seen this guy before charizard and breaks and gx cosmic clips matthew that's a really good submission actually uh, so thank you very much for choosing graded gem and i lied because we actually have a marnie at the end from sword and shield as well so just top it up with a bonus card Sam is up next, and Sam just keeps and keeps submitting cards all the time. That is Snorlax 24-7 on Instagram. He deserves more follows, so go and check it out. Deoxys from EX Holland Phantoms from Ralligator, Lightning Type. I do love the Delta Species. Uh, guys, get into Delta Species, and if you don't know what they are, go check them out. Magneton, Fossil, a Fire Type Heracross. Like, how does that even work? He'd, like, burn himself. Snorlax with a Pikachu and Chorchick. <laughs> very, very cute card, that, isn't it? They just went cute, 100%. Uh, more Pico. Snorlax GX, looking incredibly angry. Lieutenant Surge's Voltor from Gym Heroes. Galarian Pot Ponyta. I mean, it is just a massive rip-off of My Little Pony, isn't it? I mean, they're really just trying to get My Little Pony people into trading cards. Um, Galarian Ponyta is definitely one of those. Wooloo. We've been doing, seeing a lot of Wooloo on our Sword and Shield playthrough. Live streams, please do um, watch those if you're around. Gossip Fleur. 
Snorlax sticker now, which is really cool, actually. Uh, we decided to keep that in there because I think it, it's got a really good effect of keeping the sticker, like, flat. Venusaur, which is, like, just full-on bent in half. I was surprised there wasn't sellotape on the back, uh, but Sam fully knows the condition of this card. Another sticker now with Snorlax. And then, of course, a Snorlax first edition jungle. Amphros from Neo Genesis. And Sam has even got his missus involved. That is Squirtle247x on Instagram. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to start off with just the soft card, which is the Squirtle from Team Rocket, and a great card to start off your submission journey. Uh, so, thank you very much both to Snorlax247 and Squirtle247x. Elliot is up next, and that is Elliot Simmons30 on Instagram. Go check it out. Another Pokemon Instagram. A lot of these for Tom to edit into the video. Mr. Mine GX, which I really think he's looking forward to. Electro GX now with a massive yellow border. Um, Pidgeot EX, Surfing Pikachu. We then have Ho-Ho GX. Oh, break cards now, wow. Don't see these too often nowadays, but the Neuvern Break, just the one. Uh, Reshiram, really nice artwork actually. Dragon type Reshiram, cool. Uh, Latias Prism, Victini Prism, Verse Seeker. So this is one of the original gold secret rares. Um, obviously, they didn't pop it out so much in your face, but you do see the gold border, really nice. Electro DX from Celestial Storm, Mega Galade EX, Mega Ray Quasar EX, wow. Uh, Elliot got some really nice cards. We then have Royal Trainers Mail, not Royal Mail. Does look like Royal Mail though, doesn't it? With a bit of a Pokeball on top. Shaman EX. Mega Pidgeot EX from Evolutions. Amphros GX from Team Up. Not a card we've seen through the service, I don't think. Mega Pidgeot again. Charizard again. And Ultra Necrozma GX from Dragon Majesty to end your submission. Top, top cards, Elliot. Thank you very much. John is up next, and John is going to start off with this Mario Pikachu, of course, and then the Luigi. You can't have one without the other. The Mario again, the Luigi again, as expected. Then the Poncho Magikarp. We've done really well to get these promos and a few of them. They're really expensive raw at the moment, um, which makes them really difficult to acquire. I'm really glad they didn't do a Groudon Poncho, because that means I'd have to shell out a load of cash. Zapdos. <laughs> Who am I kidding? They wouldn't do a Groudon Poncho. Dark Blastoise Team Rocket. Charizard Base. Venusaur Base. Steelix from Neo Gen, Dark Gyarados from Team Rocket, uh, Hypno Psychic there, Aerodactyl, Kangaskhan First Edition Jungle, Erica's Venusaur. We then have Rocket Zapdos sweeping up into the air, looking very, very menacing. Couple of those. Blastoise from Base, Rocket's Moltres from Gym Heroes, Charizard of Brex and GX now from the. Hyper Rare, Cosmic Eclipse, I believe. Lovely, lovely card. Tapu Lele. Oh, we got a couple of these gold rares. Oh, we got a set. That's cool. They're going to look great when they come back. We got Tapu Lele, Tapu Vinny, Tapu Bulu, and Tapu Coco. We then have Mega Charizard EX. Mega Blastoise EX. I actually prefer the Blastoise from Evolutions over the Charizard. Controversial. Mewtwo. Shining Mew. And, of course, this. Uh, not the Hollow. Or is it? No, it is the Hollow. Uh, Mew from Pop Series 5. But it's actually the corrected version. Which I believe is a bit harder to acquire. So congratulations on that, John. Ross is up next. And Ross is going to start with a Zapdos Fossil. Shining Lugia SM82. Oh, then we have some Yu-Gi-Oh! we got Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. Dark Magician. Blue Eyes White Dragon from Starter Deck Kaiba. Blaine's Arcanine. We've seen a lot of these Unlimiteds. Um, Houndoom Neo Discovery. Lapras with Teeth. Charizard base set two. And the last card of the submission is Alakazam. Thank you very much, Ross. That was a really, really good submission video, guys. Thank you very much for sending in all these cards. We really massively appreciate it. At Graded Gem. Um, especially the quality of the cards as well. Some really stunning stuff to get off to PSA. So anyway, guys, that's submission video one. Well done if you got to hear and you watched the entire video. Um, and yeah, leave it to the outro. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please like, hit that bell button and go and follow our social media. Oh, and don't forget gradedgem.com. Thanks, guys.